Here is a simple egg rotten game. So the way it works is similar to uh, Russian roulette, I suppose, where one of the eggs is rotten. And in this theoretical game, you will be taking turns on eating one of the eggs, so one at a time. But you don't know one of the six is rotten and you don't know which one it is. So this game works like this. I'll just reset. Crack open one. It's safe. The first one was good. Two was a rotten egg. And the rest will then be all safe. So no, that was number two that time. If you reset, it should be somewhere different. Now the first one that time. If you reset, one, two again. One, two, three, four that time. So every time you reset, it, it selects out of an array, which I'm going to show you in a second, which one is going to be the rotten egg. Here is the code, and this is what you guys will have to make. I'll just make it a little bit bigger. So here we have our basic HTML, and then our form. Our form is this part, these two buttons here. So the reset and the crack open. Actually, we might do this. So this uh, form here is, like I said, these two buttons, the the crack open BTN capital E eat is this button here. The BTN capital R for reset is the reset button. Now you have to make sure when you're writing this code that it is um, in the correct case because we reference these these two names in the PHP code. Then in the middle of the body we start some PHP. So we start with a PHP tag. This is something new that you won't have come across yet. It is a session start. A session start refers to a place in the server's memory where it remembers variables or you can set variables. So if I refresh this page and I crack open an egg, on that refresh it actually set a variable and then it passed it to the page itself again when I cracked open that variable or when I cracked open an, an egg. Um, it's basically able to send variables from page to page if you refresh or if you go to a new page session variables are then um, accessible. So it's like being able to save a variable because if we didn't do that we refresh the page the variables would be all reset and you wouldn't be able to do anything because everything would be random. If if e, ah here we go so we're referencing the reset button now so if this means if I've clicked on the reset button um, we need to unset or re reset the eggs and turn variables these are the two variables that are kept in the session that we need to remember and we'll explain what they are in a second so that comes next this block of code then we have, so if we click the reset button or if we click the eat button, this is all the code between this bracket and this bracket. So all of this stuff happens if I click the, this crack open button. So the first thing that happens is we get the whose turn it is. So this number here, whose turn it is. We put that into a turn variable from the session. And because when it's kept in a session, it's converted to a string, we need to convert it back to a number. So we put this int in front of it. Then we echo turn whose turn it is in, a H, in H1 tags. This is PHP though, remember. So if we're echoing, we need to have it in, um, in um, talking marks. So that is basically this. This thing that I've highlighted here, turn four is this bit of this line of code here. So turn. And we're actually, because we start with turn on zero, we need to plus one to that. So turn plus one. So this would be three, but we're plusing one to that for four, because then it makes more sense when you're um, having a shot, because there's six eggs, so we need to have six turns. Otherwise, that would go from zero to five, and it wouldn't make sense for the user. So we just plus one to that here. Then we go to the eggs, and the eggs variable is an array. The arrays are down here. Uh, so 
We'll get to that in a second, but we'll, we'll continue here first. <clears throat> so if the array of eggs at the position of the turn equals 1, then that must mean it's a rotten egg because we've set that position down here and it'll make sense in a second. Otherwise, you're safe. So otherwise, show an image that um, is just of a regular egg or a nice egg or something else. But if it is and it turns out to be one, which is um, true, then we need to show a picture of a rotten egg. Um, if you're doing quotes within quotes, then make sure that you use the different ones. So if I use the single quote here, I gotta use the double in here. Because otherwise you'll get um, code that will not work. So you gotta opposite. Then we plus one to the turn because we're going to go to the next page and it's going to be the next person's turn. And But at the end here, we're, you'll notice when I crack open eggs, one, two, three, four, five, when I keep pushing it, there's no more turns happening because if the turn is less than six, so between zero and five, then set the session to the turn variable that I've set up here. But let's say we're at five and it goes to six. Six is um, more or is equal to six. It's not less than six. So it's not going to um, record it into that session variable. So the next time we're going to get, when we refresh, when we click crack open, it's going to come back through all this stuff and still be up here at this turn, still be at number five because they're plusing one here, so in, uh, for t technically turn six. So it'll never go to turn seven, no matter how many times we crack this open. So that's what this little bit of code does here, right here. Theoretically, we should do something, we should catch something and end the game inside of this if statement here. But uh, we can do that, or you can do that if you like. But to just get it working, that's probably just a fallback just in case we don't want people uh, seeing that this game can go forever. Now, here is the part that sets up the array of eggs. So if we, uh, if we picture it like this, we've set up an array of eggs and we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six possible eggs, one, two, three, and they're all set to zero. So at the moment, they're all, they're all equal. Then we select and put in S, which is a variable container, we put in that variable container a random number between 0 and 5. So we are getting a random position from for this array. So between these these positions are referenced by starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we are referencing one of those positions by saying the eggs array so this is the same thing this is the same variable the eggs array at position the random number whatever I chose so that might be three and we're going to set that position to one so in code world it looks like so zero one two three this would be turned into a one um, visually this would be zero one two three so this back egg here would be the rotten egg. We, we set that one to one. So that's just one case. So that random generator is going to be dependent on this uh, random number that gets spit out. So it could be any of these. But that's this is what's happening. So then you're setting it to one. Then in the egg session, we are setting the array. Well, we're sending that array into the session variable so then we can pass it between uh, refreshing pages on the web and we're also setting the turn to zero because we're starting from the start and then we are showing this carton of eggs which is right here so every time I reset all this stuff is happening and then that's it we're making sure that we end the our brackets for our um, curly brackets for our if statements and also the end of the PHP bracket and then of course the HTML and body because we were doing all this code inside of the body. 
So there's all your code to get you started for this Rotten Eggs Russian Roulette type of game in the web browser using arrays and using session variables. These are things that are used in uh, shopping carts especially. When you add something to the shopping cart and you're not logged in, they use session variables to keep track of things. So these are real world things that you're learning here for um, web development, PHP and server side development. So get started with that. Just go through each section as I went through it as I was explaining it and um, and and copy it copy that code into your um, PHP file should be named probably something like game in your folder like this but it could be called eggs or something so just create a new PHP file and then start putting this code into there 